This is the ninth. This is Trent Roman. This is the director of player development at Crestview Country Club in Wichita, Kansas. And well, that's how you cap it off right there, boys. Not the best of rounds, but a good way to end it. Drop back one to the fifth, and I'll give Trip Eisenhower the official introduction. Thank you, uh, George. This is Timothy Wiseman, and Ned Michaels is down with this group. That's his second shot right below the hole. That good birdie look. Let's go up one to six. Kern now taking advantage of the downwind shortish par four. This for birdie. Nicely done. He's gotten off to a really solid start, made a couple good par save there, pouring his first birdie in on the sixth. Kern, the solo leader at seven under. Oh, that was a good looking golf swing right there. And yeah, the result you would expect from a swing that that in sync and that'll leave it a putt he can be aggressive with. This is Corey Schneider. He's the director of instruction at the Point Golf Club, Powell's Point, North Carolina. Playing well this week. And there you go. You've seen a number of players attack that hole Fuck location at five. There's another one. All right, this is John Summers. This is his second shot. And another one. I think they like that uh, that hole location at five. And there's a backstop right yeah. behind it to hold it in as well. Here's the co-leader, Kern. 111, just trying to get it on this top ledge. Control that spin. Okay. That's a great shot. That pin is tucked on top. Playing back into the wind, you got to have really precise landing spot. All right, this is John Summers. Dead in the middle of the fairway at the seventh. Back into the wind. That hole just tucked up on that left shelf or left plateau, really, uh, part of this green. Yeah, good and, boy, there. he did a great job attacking it. There you go. That's going to leave a wonderful look at Birdie Johnson. He was way back as well. Yeah. That was an excellent long iron shot. This is the fourth for Worthington at the eighth. How good is that recovery? Big crosswind here, right to left. Got to land this 30, 40 feet short, right on top of the saddle, the flat area of the green. Let it bounce down. Wow, that was a good looking golf swing right there. Oh, yeah. Come on. There we go. Yeah. That's the ball of Matt Cahill after the tee shot, Gary. What are his chances of getting this one close? It's not terrible because it's sat up right on top of this little plant. So he can slide that club under and actually spin it. Ah, there we go. Shot Matt. Playing back into the wind a little bit too, making it easier to stop quickly. Yeah, that's a well, well played right there. Cahill for birdie at the tenth. Oh, back to back, really good swings. Oh, that's a great looking putt. Yo, oh, what a comeback. <laughs> Let him in. Ben Kern back at the tenth green for birdie. Well, the player that looks really comfortable over the putter and another oh, great man. roll. I really like the way he carries himself, even on the driving range, walking around. He's just calm, collected, been here, done it all. Uh, Kern is about as chill as they come. And this is Ben Kern at the 11th. So just over 100 yards for Ben. So nice line. As you said, been hitting some really, really crisp wedges. Needs to spin. Uh, yeah, it does. It absolutely does. He was warming up with a towel under both arms to get his body connection working. I think that works so well on wedges, and he has been dialed in. And there's a good example of that. All right, now next to play, Matt Cahill coming off that birdie. And certainly a no, no stranger to playing in the wind, being at Seminole. So he said he felt very comfortable this week. Might have a few more hills around here than they have at Seminole. Well, that's pretty steep walking up to the second and the eleventh. <laughs> what up about four feet? Oh, it's about it's about uh, twenty feet up. Okay, yeah. You got to be a billy goat to walk around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Corey Schneider now with his second shot. Ned Michaels is caught up with this group. That's sitting down a little bit. He read it from both sides, though, like a putt. Yeah, it's rolling out like a putt. Yeah, it can't do much better than that. This just a moment ago, 10th fairway, Greg Koch. Remember, he just made double on the eighth, trying to get his round back on track. Talking to it. Tracking. Jars it. <laughs> Koch hoops it, but has no idea. So he's walking up, looking for the ball. Saying, oh, you got to be kidding me. Is this long? Nice job. <laughs> oh, really? That's an eagle. Don't play those games with me. <laughs> I'm thinking you're telling me. No, no, no. It's like uh, icing a guy who's hitting his first major league home run and no one reacts. Like, <laughs> just there you go. give him the stone face up there by the green. <laughs> Take another look at it. Yeah, that back hole location. Call some good shots here for the rest of the day. The screen's been so firm the last couple days, but this thing hits perfectly. Just spectacular from Koch. Mark it a two on the scorecard at the par four tenth. Don't play those games with me. <laughs> All right, this is Greg Koch with his second, trying to follow up a two at 10 with a two at 11. Be pretty good. Johnson play these two holes in four strokes. Indeed, sending it up way high, let it trickle on down to that flagstick trip. That's exactly how you wanted him to play it. Yep, exactly. He may make a believer out of me before the end of the day. <laughs> we find Kern in the twelfth fairway. Gary, what's what? he got? I'll tell you what, George. I like the way Ben plays with it himself. He could have reached this in two. Decide to lay up again. Try and put one of the great strengths of his game in his hands. So now an opportunity to knock another club wedge close. And there you go, play to your strengths. Go in, what a great shot. Back right hole location, smartly choosing to lay up. Love it. Kicking range for Kern. All right, now Kern back in control. Really looks good with these, these short irons, doesn't he, Gary? He does. It always swings within himself as well, doesn't he? It's effortless power. That's a 9 iron as well. well. That divot's going right at the hole, and so did the ball. What a coincidence. Back two from 14 to 12. Summer second to the par five. Back right hole location can get very aggressive with this. Oh, yeah, gets it to stop quickly. And now the eagle putt for John Summers. And this to grab the outright lead at eight under. And not much in this, just a hair straighter. Should go a, just a, probably a half a ball to his left. Yeah, great eagle there, buddy. Thanks. Buries it. With authority. <laughs> Summers eagling the 12th. And this is Summers, our leader now. Oh, for his birdie. He's got a red hot round going, coming oh, off that yeah. eagle. And yes, there you go.